the hardest working creature at Rossman Repair Group. So everybody, I have been teaching all day, and then I heard Mark talking up front to Daniel, who just walked into our shop here in Honey Eye Falls. And Daniel's really concerned with his iPhone 6S that's broken because he needs his data, right? So you've got important data on this iPhone 6S. So why don't you tell me, so, so I got wind of this case and I said, this sounds like a uh, one that I'd like to talk to because I understand that you've been running around a little bit today, including calling some people. So tell us your story. Uh, so what happened is like, uh, that happens to all of us. I dropped my phone. Uh, the screen surprisingly did not break, but the internal component of it uh, glitched out, made it unusable. Uh, so my first reaction was, of course, to call Apple. Uh, Apple sent me around the ringer with their answering machine and uh, decided, you know, just shoot up to Eastview Mall and Victor and just talk to someone in person. And were you able to get an appointment? Like, how'd that work out? Uh, well, I just walked into the mall, you know, they're doing their thing, and I talked to a representative, like one of their clerks or whatever. I believe you mean genius? <laughs> <laughs> that's what you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then they told me that what I was asking for, which is like, I just need my phone fixed or the data off of it. They told me uh, that they did not possess the technology to do that and gave me the number uh, for drive savers. Now, how did you know that your phone, like, like, what made you think it just needed a new screen? I mean, wouldn't that be great? Like, that's kind of wishful thinking, right? Yeah. Like, I would love for every dead phone to just need a new screen. Yep. Uh, well, I just figured, you know... Uh, I left the phone on, and then all of a sudden when I woke up for work uh, the next day, it wasn't coming from the alarm on my new phone, but my old phone with the glitched out screen. Oh, so God, because you can't turn that off. Yeah. Oh, so there, so that's a, that's a tough snooze. Were you trying to beat on it? Uh, like... Yeah, and then I was just doing <laughs> hard resets, and it just kept turning itself back on. It was. It so was you knew bad. this phone is on, yep. but the display is just gone. Yep. Gotcha. And, uh, all right, so you went to the Apple store and they said, yeah, your phone, your, we can't help you get the data and we're unwilling to open it up and just see if putting a new screen on it works. Yep, I, I would imagine it's probably because of the whole COVID stuff, and, mm -hmm. like, but I don't know. They just gave me a, a number. They gave me the business card for Drive Savers. And Drive Savers is not local, whereas, not where do you live? Down the street? Uh, I live in Canada, Iowa. Okay, so that's, that's, that that's pretty much down the street, right? Yep. So we're local. Yep. They gave you a California company business card. Yep. So you called them up, Drive Savers, right? Now, this is the reason why I'm making this video, and I've made a couple of these sort of, you know, ranty Drive Savers videos, and, and the reason is because we like to shine a light on things that, that seem a little bit unjust, and I think that Daniel's story is like that. It's really not cool for the local Apple store who knows about us, they've sat in here before, to, to refer local people to drive savers for a iPhone that needs a new screen, right? That's what's wrong with Daniel's phone. He needs a new screen. Now we have experience with drive savers before where any phone that gets sent to drive savers, regardless of whether it needs a new screen or whether it needs component level repair, they're always a $2,000 quote if they're able to get it turned back on and get the data. Now, drive savers aren't bad people, right? But they recently bought a sponsored video on some of the bigger channels. So now their footprint is really in your face for people, even our own locals are getting referrals to drive savers. So tell us what happened when you called them up. Well, as anybody does when you call a big company, uh, I sat on hold for a little while. Mm -hmm. Finally, a representative uh, answered. I explained the problem. Uh, my screen's glitched out. I know it works. Um, you guys were recommended to me through Apple. Uh, and I'm just wondering like, what the process is here. Mm -hmm. They said that I could send it to them uh, and they would look at it, which would have taken some time and that uh then they gave me the price and i damn near hung up the phone it was at least nine to almost two grand you know and so they quoted you a range of yep. 900 up to two thousand dollars you said uh 
knowing these people, it sounds like they just kind of take advantage anyway. In our experience, we've never heard of anybody getting the 900 recovery. And if they did, it would be one of these where they didn't even need to put a screen on it. That would be the kind that you could just plug in and say, boot up, and then it would boot up, and then you yeah. get to only pay $900. All right, so you, so what'd you do? Did you think about doing it? Uh, no, <laughs> honestly, I was just like, uh, this is absurd. Uh, I refuse to believe that there's no one else out there with the capability of doing this. And you spent your whole day trying to track this down, yeah. right? And after a while, lo and behold, iPad Rehab showed up on the Google search, and I was very pleased to see that you guys were not that far away. <laughs> yeah. So you, you drove over here, like, not that long ago, right? Yep. Yep. I just, you know, uh, I just decided, you know, I just need to... So you came in here, and you've been told by some other kind of just local shops that a phone that has a... needs a screen replacement... What were you telling us that you heard uh, about that? They said that there was a chance that with the screen replacement, um, my data would, it, the phone would need a, a backup, like a restore. And just, you know, I hadn't backed up my phone and there was important stuff on there. I didn't think it was really worth the gamble. Because you could really, you know, you would expect that if you really do just need a screen, which is the case here. You know, this is a phone, a 6S that Daniel brought in where it's on, you can hear that it's on, you can see that the LCD has a defect, that's it. It's very clear, this is a phone that needs a screen replacement. So you would think that even going into any cell phone repair shop that they could help you, and this is where we have a really big problem, where you know the whole world is really doing folks like Daniel, I think, a disservice. You know, it's a, you know, we get into trouble every now and then. Sometimes it's just a little bit of data where the phone might be backed up, but it's just a couple of months out of date where we don't really care that much. We just would kind of like to have the last yeah. couple of months. So what are you hoping to get back on this phone? Contacts? Uh, contacts. Uh, I do write uh, short fiction when I'm at work. You know, I write things in my notepad on my phone and, you know, that stuff's important to me. It so is, yeah. Creation out yeah. Of my mind. And it's real hard when you don't have it to start it again with a white paper. That's, yep, yep. I, I, I know that's really frustrating. Yep. And we see a lot of that. Yep. And then just, of course, you know, uh, just, you know, photos of my little cat. She's adorable. I take a bunch of photos. Oh, yeah. So. I, got a, I got a pug puppy. <laughs> and my so, phone is yeah. like 90% pug puppy right now. Yep. I'll, I'll tell you. All right. So while we, so our micro soldering students just left. And uh, while I was setting up the audio and stuff for this video, Mark went ahead and here's your phone. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, so there here we is. go. So uh, Mark, what do you got to say? We might not be able to hear you, but here, here you go. Uh, Thank you. The phone needed a screen, so. I put a screen on it. <laughs> that'll be $2,000. <laughs> uh, I just gotta run to my car really quick. Yeah, right? exactly, <laughs> I'll be back. I'm good for it, all right. <laughs> Yeah, so your phone really doesn't have anything wrong with it other than the battery is a little bit old and yep. it needed a new screen. I know you already have an, a new phone yep. and that you should have no trouble Just making a backup. Up. Right. Yeah, and in a case like this, you know, where, where Daniel doesn't need to pay us even our, you know, 300 data recovery because he's perfectly capable of getting himself the rest of the way out of this jam. I would think so. Yeah. So it's not that hard. Yeah. And I, and I was telling Mark when we, you know, the other day that like, you know, we'd like to kind of do a video where just to kind of show other shops that are out there to, to not be Apple and not be corporations where you really connect with the customer and what they actually need when you can. And especially at the local level, that's what we're really good at. That's what independent repair is supposed to be. So we're going to charge you for a screen replacement, which is what this phone needs. And you're going to be able to get back all the data. And I really don't see any reason why that phone's not going to just continue to be a backup phone or, yeah, or work or what use it for whatever. Now. All right. So. Well, thank you so much for being a good thank sport you. and helping us uh, share your story. I just think it's really important. And for those of you that are thinking of sending your phone because you're com convinced by the flashy videos for the $2,000 data recovery, it's true that you don't want to tear up your phone and start trying to do micro soldering. We do see a lot of prior repair attempt damage. And if Daniel had come in here and done long screw damage, 
he could have made his phone unrecoverable. So I want to be clear that DIY data recovery, you know, that's, that's perfectly fine if you only sort of kind of care about your data. It's really important to you. You need to find a professional. But every town has a local professional. Go find someone local to you that can know you, that is willing to put a screen on when you need a screen, put a battery in when you need a battery, a charge port when you need a charge port, and isn't charging you any kind of $2,000 when all you need is a screen replacement. So that's our message for today. Thanks for watching. And that's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video.